Welcome to Circle CI Foundations, Understanding Concurrency. Concurrency is a limit on the number of executing tasks at any time. This definition stays the same across a lot of software, but it can be nuanced once you're actually using it. So we're going to talk today about what concurrency in Circle CI means for you and what exactly you need to care about. So let's talk a little bit about why you might care about concurrency. First, concurrency allows more work to get done faster by running tasks at the same time. Most of the time, to be honest, you don't need to worry about concurrency. The concurrency limits are set by your Circle CI plan, so they're enforced in the background without you having to do anything. The confusion happens usually when users start to work with parallelism. Parallelism can affect your concurrency and sometimes can lead to longer queues for jobs. So let's talk about why that is and how to spot the difference. Concurrency in Circle CI is a set limit for how many tasks can be executing at any given time. And we'll talk in a minute about what exactly counts as a task. Concurrency is determined by your Circle CI plan, and the concurrency limit includes parallel tasks. Parallelism is the number of copies of a specific job that runs simultaneously. It's set in your configuration file, and the number of parallel tasks, again, count toward your concurrency limit. And we're gonna walk through a couple examples of this just to make sure it's really clear. You set parallelism in your configuration file. You see the parallelism key here is set to four. If it's set to anything more than one, that means you're using parallelism. Let's walk through a couple examples. If your concurrency limit is 30, which is the limit on our new free plan at the time of this recording, you can run 10 jobs with a parallelism of three. So you run 10 jobs with three copies of each for 30 total tasks. Or you could run five jobs with a parallelism of six or three jobs with a parallelism of 10. I'm trying to give you more examples, you understand. Basically, we max out at 30 tasks. Now it's true that some plans have limits on parallelism. So you may not be able to run parallelism six or 10, but knowing what that limit is will help you set parallelism in a way that runs your jobs as fast as your plan allows. Concurrency really only factors how many things are happening at once, not how that work is divided or exactly what those tasks are. So what happens when you try to run more concurrent tasks than the concurrency limit? The good news is hitting your concurrency limit's totally fine. Nothing explodes, nothing breaks. Tasks simply wait until there are resources available. A job might end up being queued because of your concurrency limit. If your jobs are queuing really often, then maybe it's time to think about how you can get a higher concurrency limit by possibly upgrading your plan. Before you do any of that, I would pop onto our community forum and ask around. Again, Concurrency allows us just to get more work done faster by running tasks at the same time. Check out our documentation, both on concurrency and parallelism. Look forward to another video about parallelism specifically in the future. And if you have more questions, come see us on our community forum at discuss.circleci.com. And we'll see you next time on Circle CI Foundations.